Hey everyone, so today I have my redid 1920s makeup style look. I had one up beforehand, but then I realized once I put it up that there were some things that I didn't do correctly and it wasn't 100% 1920 style and so I really wanted it to be and so I um, I privated the video and so now I have this look that I'm going to edit and upload hopefully very soon. As you can tell it's really really dramatic um, for today's standards anyways. In the 1920s uh, women were going through a lot of changes. They were getting to drink in public, they could start speaking their minds and they got the right to vote in 1921 I believe. It was a very big decade for women and many of them to kind of show some masculinity, some kind of, you know, that they had power. They started wearing a ton of makeup. They would put it on in public, which is really, really out of the ordinary for previous decades. And they also cut their hair very, very short. Um, the bob hairstyle was a really huge hairstyle that came in in this decade. And I will be doing a hair tutorial after this. And I'm going to put the link right here to that video once I put it up. As you can see, there is a lot of makeup. I'll zoom in to show you guys the eyes and lips. So as you can see, it's very, very different than what we would do today. The darkest shadows go into the middle and there isn't very much on the outside. It's a big triangle and that's very reminiscent of the 1920s and um, the eyebrows should be thinner. I didn't want to pluck all mine out or cover them in any way so um, I just didn't define the arch at all and I just drew it down farther than it normally would go in a darker shade. And for the lips I covered out the corners because um, in the 1920s puckered lips were a very very beautiful style that was um, very popular and I also exaggerated how far down my lower lip goes and how um, I don't know heart-shaped my cupid's bow is because that's what they did in the 1920s. I hope you guys enjoy this look and keep watching if you want to know how I got this whole makeup look pulled together. Brush through your brows to even out their texture. This makes it easier to apply product. Then apply a dark brown or black eyebrow pencil. Draw a straight line down the beginning of your brow as this was the style back then. Don't emphasize your arch and bring the color past the end of your brow. When you're done, use a spoolie brush to add texture to your brows and make them more realistic. Next, prime your lids with your favorite eye primer. Now take a wet shading brush and fill in your lid with a shimmery silver. The water or mixing medium will make the eyeshadow appear more vibrant. Use a clean blending brush to blend out the harsh edges. Take that same blending brush and mix a brick red color with a matte brown. Place this dark rust color in your outer crease and bring it up to meet the beginning of your brow, then straight down, creating a triangle on your lid. Fill the triangle in with this color. Next, take a clean contour brush and load it up with a sultry charcoal color. Place this color on top of the rust colored triangle, focusing the color mainly on the inner corner. The rusty base will add a hint of warmth to the area, while the charcoal color darkens it up. Now, take a wide, dense brush and blend out the edges, especially around the bridge of your nose. Next, wet a stubby brush and load it up with the silver we used earlier. This will go on our lower lash line about halfway in. Then take the charcoal color and place this on the inner half of the lower lash line. Now, just using a clean ring finger, smudge the lower lash line. To add a bit more warmth to the eye, take the brick color we used earlier and place this in your crease. Now 
Take a large shader brush and lightly blend a cream color to your brow bone to make the dark shadows look even darker. Line your eyes. Then blend it out. Take a Q-tip and clean up the lower lash line a bit. Add two coats of your favorite mascara. Now apply your foundation to the corners of your mouth as well as any other redness on your face. Cover your under eye circles as well. The reason we're doing this after our eye makeup is because there may have been some fallout from our eye makeup that would have ruined our foundation if we put it on first. Pat your setting powder all over your face. Line your lips with a burgundy colored pencil. Exaggerate your cupid's bow and lower lip. You want your lips to look puckered and ready to kiss. When you're done, fill in your lips with the liner. Take a bright red lipstick and a lip brush and carefully go over your lined lips. Lastly, use that same lipstick as a blush. Start at the apples of your cheeks and blend outward. If it's too harsh, use your powder to mute the color slightly. And that's the finished look. Very dramatic and very 1920s flapper. I hope you all enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos.